rocking with the one and only Czar All Rights Reserve. Let me holla at y'all real quick. And here, I got to say, I'm going to reiterate on some other things we were dealing with. And I have a very important question. And you know, this is quickly. Go check out the lives if you didn't. If you want that solid content, a lot of different things were described. I had a lot of hit makers with me when I did it. And again, the distractions come out every time I'm out here. Just weird coming out, like following me like a puppy dog or somebody's hoe on a chain. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Like, get yourself on some. I don't care what language you're speaking. Get up on some. Now, here's what I got to say. Where was the 911 call and why haven't we heard it? Also, why hide the footage? How does it affect the case? Overall, if you get the tone and you look into what we're talking about, you'll understand what I'm saying. It Check out yesterday's live and the day before his live. Two days of solid lives with socialites that are on the come up, that are doing many different things to help progress things. And one major subject came up. I did a rundown from my earlier live streams earlier on in the series to the current ones that I'm dealing with. And off of me going over, them, I allowed different people to see, look, I've been thinking in a very strategic way, but something that made sense. And I only worked up till September. We still have lives where I'm going to address other things I set up to now, even up to these videos, the type of thinking and mindset I was in. I want to know exactly what's going on we never heard a verbatim 911 call or why the witness ran into the store and the first thing he does when he gets in the store is that he went in there saying to get someone to call 911 next i see a group of people out with cell phones recording a body why why didn't you call 911 from your phone and how did you run and know what happened if you ran inside you contradicted everything and that's the ultimate in piece to that now we have other data and stuff we haven't released we're looking at again i gotta get some other people to look at it also dealing with other cases i'm talking about i gotta get some other people to look at it it's a lot of research and information gathering that is occurring on the backside as we progress forward i just wanted to reiterate that how does this affect the case how does releasing information to show what is going on affect the case in any sort of way if you have footage right and you're indicating someone was on the footage that is suspicious how would you not be able to get up with them you did a manhunt and got up with these guys without checking their home territory being you say and claim you allegedly found evidence in one of the suspect's grandma's car how real is that you found it in the grandma's car really is that true because allegedly i agree it's possible this evidence popped up out of nowhere purposely because a bill of information wasn't strong enough against the situation. That's just a legend. We don't know. We don't know if someone admitted to something. We don't know if someone told. All we know is that certain people asked for expertise. All we know is that certain people claimed that they wanted to get more people involved. See, that's my thing. When this type of stuff is going on, when you have eerie beginnings and backgrounds and just overall a eerie tone to the entire situation it makes you think about the relevancy of what it is we know to be true who's actually involved why people are doing things a certain way and what are probable situations surrounding the matter now on the live stream i did a detailed breakdown and i was discussing it with a commenter and so other socialites and he's basically a socialite now because he's a part of the all rights reserve family commenter nation chris a Go check it out. Also, Queen Prodigy, uh, go check her out. And Mandy Sin Eats Your Heart, your spelled with you are. Go check her out on IG and Twitter and just get into what they have going on so that you can stay up on the case and stay up with what I have going on, too. I respect everybody subscribing, checking it out. Can anyone show me a voice recording of the 911 call or a reasoning? This is a new one, a reasoning behind the text message I seen Panama post. Now we have it, we've been sitting on it, and the thing was, this communication, was it with a Reva Motorsports person? Was it? And where's the call from Reva Motorsports, who made it? That's another question. There's a lot of witnesses on this witness list. Which one of them made the call? Because if none of them made the call how come you don't have the people who took the last alleged last photos of tentacion why how do they bypass being questioned for anything 
It's all nonsense. That's the key. That's nonsense. At least in an investigation. I could see you not releasing pertinent evidence like names, like things. But you rushed up people's picture. Even the witness list, you rushed that out there. Even in video, you rushed out people to look like they're guilty. So you're telling me you can't release a few audios or a few photos that can show me something and give me some idea? You can't release a toxicology and autopsy. How does that mess up the case? Because we know what killed them, how they die and when. Why would that mess a case up? Again, it's nonsense. It makes no sense at all. Yet I still have people coming on here that think it's sensible to say, oh, leave this alone, do this. And we already have some identities to who you could have been. I mean, this is just if you think this is getting played out, you're played out. If you think this is getting unnecessary, you're an unnecessary existence to anything we have going on here. Because what you're telling me is that you don't care about justice to the point that you have a set number of times you're going to ask questions and you're going to detail things and dictate things just depending on what others think. You're a follower. You're not made to lead. You're not made to be out here doing what it takes to figure something out. That's ultimately what you show. Now, we already have other theories even around this stuff. But come on. Where are these investigators at? Who was on the scene of the crime after it happened? We didn't see the ambulance. Who actually saw the fire truck come pick up the body? And why would it? What was the clothing? What was going on? Why didn't he back up? And come on, we can all presume some of these things. But ultimately, it comes down to left or right, black or white. What What is it? Which one is it? You can't hold off things forever by saying, oh, it's just how it happened. That doesn't make sense. It's not something that's going to go with the public of people who really want to know. Why? Because this is the situation you do that. But I've seen countless stories that you rushed out different things going on and you had information showing that was personal to certain people. I've seen you taking information, dealing with certain generations of people, and you displayed it in a way to dictate someone's demise and disrespect their legacy that is when the news came out and made their comments about someone being an abuser no one addressed it everyone act like it didn't happen that's tainting someone's legacy that's clear defamation that's clear defamation you're coming out saying they're an abuser or something when you have no proof when you played a video that was privately recorded which is against the law it's just it's crazy it's crazy it's like everything about this case is being played fast and loose when you want someone to respect exactly what you're doing with your media when you want respect for what it is you're doing but you want to disrespect everybody else and claim some type of right for that like that's okay but you want to know what that's good because that's the end of you get your deserving but until then who made the 911 call why don't we have the voice audio why are we lacking this how does this not happen this way where was the forensic team getting the forensic evidence that was claimed to be found much later um randomly mysteriously and fortunately right in a car of one of the relatives right once the bill of information was due that is curious but what's even crazier the prosecution then asked for dna how does that work how is that possible you then ask for DNA following someone's. It, it, you did a manhunt. You didn't check the homes first. If anyone in the comments can explain why this is, even if you're an investigator, even if you're someone who's fake. When I say that, I mean fake witnesses, fake people, people that really know what happened. Please hop in here and attempt to explain it. These are the answers we're missing. Unless there was a personal vendetta at stake. Unless the information we find to allegedly be true about there being deeper relations between witnesses and other people, then I'd understand. But ultimately, an explanation and different things will be due to the people who have been investigating this a while. Some type of information to justify what's going on so that we understand exactly what it is that's being dictated to us. This is very important moving forward. If we don't understand this, then there's no way for us to develop a picture of understanding to why things happened a certain way. I would like to notice. 
I'm asking there for information. If anyone has the release of any information or anything that they can add to it, we're open to hear it. Thank you for rocking with me. You know what time it is. Uh, be prepared for the next live stream. Um, you rocking with the one and only greatest nation since United Nations. Once again, on our job, handling business. Subscribe, hit that bell, and stay tuned for the next uploads coming this week in the live stream. As always, the one.